Hello, I'm Yasha Hart. I'm 21 and I'm an Italian VTuber artist and life to the rigger. Some of you may know me from my life to the tutorials that I have posted during the past years. So that's Ooh. what I'm most known for. Therefore, I thought, why not making this video right now? Oh my god, she's so pretty. What the fuck? She's gorgeous. I show you how to draw a chibi model. I'm not hey, sure what I me. can do about the rigging, but for sure we can do the art. Let's go. Here we have our beautiful reference. I gotta get that rig now. That's pretty big. I need, I need that model. By 5,000. So need let's it. get started. I think we're gonna need a bow. This is gonna be the base for the head. And from here we're gonna draw the tricks. Chibis generally have a pretty flat chin. A very cool trick that I always use is to use the liquify tool to adjust the shapes. Oh, that is so cool. What we the... can erase part of the bowl. Now, for the body, we need uh, a bell shape. And then we have the legs. They just come out down little knobs like this. Don't make them too long. For the love of God. Cute. Wait, what? What do you mean for the love of God? What the heck? At this point, we can draw the arms as well. Honestly, you can draw the hands. I can't say no to this. Look how cute thumb. it is. Oh my god, she's so skilled. At this point, we can draw the eyes. Mostly, it's just two curves up here, kind of like that. And then you can add a little wing if you like it. Or not, if you don't. Color it in. And refine the shape a little bit. I'm sorry, I'm a little bit excited, so I'm shaking. You don't have to apologize, you're doing amazing. The mouth generally has to be pretty small, and a little smile is always pretty. Same for the eyebrows. Thank you so much for the red out your great drinks. They are very nice if you draw them a little bit angled like this. Oh, how cute! As for the nose, there's gonna be no nose. Let's connect to the head and the body. Now, the hair usually has to be very simple, so just look at your reference and try to redraw it with the littlest uh, detail that you can. Wow, she's so good! Listen, there's an old there, you just can't see it. I feel like I wanted to make it super simple, like a big sweater or something like that. And we are done. We just need to erase all of the overlapping parts and then we can color it. Okay, now we can add all of the no, base no, colors. Egghead, what the? Filling the whole model with a single color and then adding all of the separate colors on top of it is a oh, trick that so always cute. works. Look at her. That's the cutest little iron mouse I've ever seen. Now, one very, very important thing to do is to color your line art in chibi models. It's gonna make them so much cuter. Pick your base color and then go darker and more saturated and color your lines with that. Now, when shading a chibi model, gradients are really gonna be your best friends. Look for example this hair. Let's start by adding a little nice gradient coming from the bottom. Oh, and that's maybe cute. also one at the top. Like this. Make the back of the hair a little bit darker. Oh, that's so cute. Oh and now let's God. add a nice highlight. I also have this as a model tomorrow. What if you that? really want to make them pop a little bit more, you could also add a saturated light going all across like this. And maybe also from the bottom. Now, I'm just gonna do the same thing with the rest of the outfit. Remember to use uh, some nice gradients. Oh, that's cute. On the skin, I'm gonna add uh, some nice blush. As well as uh, some shadow from the hair and the skirt and the head. I'm also gonna add a big gradient on the skin just to make it look a little bit more lively. Now the best part, let's color the eyes. We are gonna start with a nice gradient, dark gradient from the top. Then let's put a darker, uh, uh, sorry, a lighter color 
in the bottom as well as a lighter gradient. Now let's add the pupil. A nice shadow on top of everything. That's supposed to be the shadow of the lashes. Then on a lower opacity we are gonna add a light right where the eye is the most dark. This is really gonna make the eyes pop. You can also go in and oh, that is adorable. This to make it look even more like a reflection. And time for the best part, the highlight. You can really make it however you prefer. You can make a silly shape, so just a circle, little heart. And now I'm showing you a little trick that is gonna make this even cuter. Copy the highlight layer, change its color to maybe a pinkish tone, and then apply a Gaussian blur effect. Look how cute that is. Oh my god, that is Let's so copy cute. For the other side. Now what's oh only god, left to so shade cute. is the lashes. Grab a very dark pinkish it's reddish so color talented. and brush it on the sides of the lashes. Now let's add a couple of little tiny lashes here and there and a little highlight also on the lashes. If you want, now you can just add a little bit of highlights here and there, maybe some sparkles. I'll see you once this is done. Oh my god, I That's just want to smush her! Did you see how easy it was? I hope that you will have fun making your own chibi models like this. Well, to be a model, this will need also cutting and rigging, but I really didn't have the time. Thank you so much for watching! Thank you for this amazing presentation, thank you! Whoa.